Hey y'all, it's Darla here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, you guys, it is a gorgeous late, late evening here in South Florida. It's uh, The sun has actually gone down and um, I am getting ready to plant up some planters. I thought it would be a great time to be able to get out there uh, when the sun's gone down. We've had a lot of rain all day today and um, I wasn't really able to get out earlier in the day. And so I love gardening at nighttime. And one of the things that usually ends up stopping me is obviously the darkness. And so um, I bought myself a little a loom, loom cube is what it's called and it attaches to my camera and it just kind of lights everything up and I'm really hoping that it's going to illuminate everything to where you guys can see it really really well and that will it'll just kill two birds with one stone it'll let me garden in the evening time when it's actually um, I, I love it I love gardening in the evening time because it's cooler even though our humidity is off the chain um, it's a lot cooler here in the evenings um, I love gardening in the evenings but um, you know this way um, you know by having this uh, camera lit up you know you guys will be able to see the detail hopefully in what I'm actually planting which leads me to let's go out under the pool cabana I am actually um, getting ready to plant up two planters that I bought from Walmart a couple days ago I really wasn't in the market for these planters or anything but <clears throat> excuse me I was out um, in the garden section and uh, I saw these planters and they were just so pretty and they'd have been even better if they were on sale but they weren't unfortunately but they were very pretty they are from the better homes and gardens um, series that Walmart does carry and um, I just love that brand they just they make the prettiest stuff you know outdoor stuff um, if you guys get a chance to get over to Walmart and check out the better homes and gardens brand they I just love it I mean we have lanterns and all kinds of you know planters and things you know um, you know just decorative you know gardening things for you know outside inside you know everything uh, that they carry so anyway back to the planters um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you um, these really really cute planters okay here they are right here I bought two of them and they are the uh, again they're the better homes and gardens they are called the Chancellor 17 inch round planter and I just thought that they were so pretty they're this just really really um, you know like off-white um, color that I thought would be really really pretty they'll go really really nicely out here under uh, underneath of our pool cabana uh, which is the area that um, I'm in and they're right here they're gonna be located right here off of the steps I keep saying they because I bought a twin right here. Um, this is um, on the other side. Like I said, we have you know the stairs that go up on this side, and then I've got the pot here, and then another pot um, on the other side of the cabana where you step up. So I thought it would look really, really pretty. I'm gonna back up here so that way I can kind of show you um, where the two pots are actually located from back here. And it will just look so pretty um, up on the cabana. It's be the, kind of the first thing that you see when you, you know, you walk out here, especially with what I'm going to be putting in there. But um, uh, anyway, I don't know if you guys remember, um, I'm going to try to pop up a picture of what this area looked like um, before Robin and I took down two planters. We actually had located uh, about right in here where this chair is at, and then again on the other side, we had two huge planters that were actually, um, they weren't affixed to the deck. They were just, um, they were really big and heavy. And um, we had like, um, I, I forget the size uh, pot, they were like square pots. And they, I forget the, 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 um, the size of the pots or whatever, but they had uh, lemon, lemon lime dracenas in them and they were just beautiful. But Robin and I have been talking about, you know, taking them down and just creating a little bit more space up here on the cabana. If I come up underneath, you can kind of get a, a better a bigger picture here but anyway they were located right in here and then again on the other side where these two chairs are at right here the other one was located right um, right in that chair spot actually but they did they took up just an enormous amount of room up here on the cabana and I thought you know Robin and I were talking we thought let's just go ahead and just get rid of those so we broke them all down Robin had built them so he knew how to break them all down and everything and um, now I can put things like you know extra chairs um, you know over here and in this case I can put actually two really pretty um, planters on either side smaller you know that way it, it's you know it keeps a little bit more room up here on the deck but I can still have planters up here so anyway you guys um, these planters are back to these planters they are really really um, 
I, I love them. They're very, very pretty and they're lightweight, like I said. And the other feature that I like so well, if you can see down inside there, there is a pre-drilled hole. As a matter of fact, if you flip it upside down, I'm gonna go down in here. It has a plug right here that you can just pull out and ta-da, a pre-drilled hole. I love that because a lot of times when I'm drilling the holes, like if I drill holes in here, sometimes it'll split this plastic or whatever. We try to be real careful, but we're not gonna have to do that this time because the, the holes are already all pre-drilled. So I was really excited about that. But even more exciting than these planters, which they're absolutely gorgeous, are the beautiful, beautiful things that I am gonna be planting up in those planters. Um, just um, to kind of break it down here uh, in a nutshell, obviously I'm gonna be planting these gorgeous caladiums, but I'm gonna be pairing them with some other things as well. I'm gonna be pairing them with the Kimberly Queen Fern. You can't go wrong with these guys. And mind you, all of these plants that I'm gonna be planting, they will, they're gonna be sitting directly underneath of our cabana. So there's the roof right there. They're gonna be sitting underneath this uh, cabana literally all day long. They will get a very, very bright, bright indirect light um, from sun up until about four o'clock in the afternoon, at which time then the sun's gonna be coming in from this direction right here. They'll be setting to the west. Oh, those clouds look a little bit precarious. Like I said, we've had rain all day. I don't think there's any more rain in the forecast for tonight, but you never know. But anyway, that the sun sets to the west. And so what'll happen is around four o'clock or so, as that sun is setting um, into the west and starting to go down, it will go ahead and come right into the front of this cabana. And then those plants will get um, a little late, late, late day uh, sun when that sun is the least uh, strong. And that'll be fine because these, all these plants that I'm gonna be putting in y'all, they are actually going to be, um, uh, they will take a, um, you know, a little bit of sun, uh, you know, morning sun or late afternoon sun, as long as it's that late, late, like after four o'clock sun here in South Florida anyway. And obviously it depends on your zone. But anyway, again, back to these plants, um, the Kimberly Queen Fern, they're absolutely gorgeous. And these ferns, um, I, th this particular fern right here, the Kimberly Queen, I think this, this fern, they get up to be around, um, gosh, I wanna say they probably get up to be around maybe 24 inches you know, tall, um, maybe even a little bit taller than that. They, they, you know, when they are in a pot, I've got them in, um, you know, big containers around the pool and everything. And, um, you know, when they're just left, you know, in big, big pots, they get quite large. So I'm going to only be using one of the Kimberly Queen ferns in this pot um, right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put um, some Alternanthera. I love these guys. Um, these are the Purple, Purple Night, I believe is what these are called. And they are just the sweetest. They have the most pretty uh, dark green leaf. The new growth actually has really pretty dark, I mean, light green leaf. And then as the, the uh, leaves mature, they mature this really, really pretty purple color. And if you flip the leaf upside down, I love it because they're that really, really shiny, shiny purple. Either way you look at it, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And again, these will do really, really well in a late, late afternoon sun. They can also be put, you know, like in an early morning sun. So if you had a container, you know, like the one that I have over here that you're gonna be putting, like say in a morning sun, these plants that I'm gonna be putting in will do just fine as well. So that is the Purple Night Alternanthera. And I'm not real sure if, I think I'm probably just gonna be using one, actually one of the fern and then one of the Alternanthera. And then over here, we've got this variegated plectranthus. Now y'all, this is one of my newest favorites. I, I found these probably about, I don't know, two seasons ago. And um, not that they're new, they're, they're just, they're kind of new to me in my garden and growing them because I'm always looking for something that will trail. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, these, if you can see these long runners, they just are gorgeous, they trail all down the sides of your containers and they're just absolutely beautiful. And of course they've got a really strong like citrusy or peppery, whatever your, whatever your smeller is detecting, it's really strong. Um, I think it says it's like a citrusy, but it smells peppery to me. But either way, um, 
they're just they're absolutely gorgeous and they have a very pungent pungent smell to them um, and they just trail beautifully over pretty much you know any kind of container that you would put them in and that is another thing I like about them too is they just they're so well versed um, with just about everything that I put them with and last year last season as a matter of fact I'm gonna pop a screen a uh, picture up on the screen if so you guys can see the window box that I had out front last year I paired them with uh, some caladiums and they were absolutely gorgeous but anyway that is what um, I'm gonna be putting in there along with and let me come over to the star of the show I'm gonna be putting in these gorgeous caladiums now this one right here, um, this is a Gingerlin. I know that for a fact um, because I recently ordered a whole bunch of, um, of Caladium bulbs from Happiness Farms Caladiums here in South Florida, actually over in Lake Placid, which is actually over, it's about the center of the state from where I am actually. And um, they, um, they're they just um, a, you know a grower of caladiums. And every year I usually order a big box. As a matter of fact, let me show you this big, big box of caladiums that I am uh, working out of. There you go. There's a whole bunch of them. I've got bags and bags of just different kind. Um, this is the gingerlin right here. Let me see if I can get in close. The gingerlin, there it is. Um, that is the one that we were just looking at a few moments ago. And um, of course, it's hard to imagine, isn't it, y'all? When you see something that looks like this, and then it turns out to look like that, it's absolutely amazing to me. Absolutely amazing to me. But I am putting these guys in all kinds of little... Um, you know, little containers. As a matter of fact, shooting over just a little bit here on my table, I just put together um, earlier in the day, when it was raining, I was working undercover. Let me get my tea out of the way here. I put together this cute little trio of, um, of pots. I just had some, um, you know, some clay pots that I had, um, you know, stored up in my potting shed and I pulled them down and I filled them full of uh, fresh soil and I just nestled down um, these bulbs um, that I was showing you earlier. I just nestled these guys down. I believe um, in the center here in this one, I have a ginger limb. And then I've got two red ruffles growing on either side. And the ginger limb is going to get up to be about anywhere from 18 to 24 inches tall. And the red ruffles are going to get to be about 12 to 24 inches tall. So that should make a very nice um, pot of caladiums. And then on either side, I planted one bulb on e in e each of these and I put in the red ruffles um, in these. So that should just look absolutely scrumptious by the time the little heads are starting to poke up. Um, it should look absolutely beautiful here on um, my table here uh, under the cabana. So anyway, working out of the bat or working out of the box, you know, just kind of putting things, uh, these bulbs actually into um, all of these containers. Um, and then I got a little bit, you know, discouraged because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm planting all these guys and I turn around and I look and it's like, that's the result I have right there. So I needed a little bit of instant gratification and I thought, you know what? You guys would probably enjoy seeing some instant gratification too. So that is why I'm gonna go ahead and just put in um, the ones that have already come up and uh, I, I just needed to do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and get these guys all planted up in these gorgeous uh, planters, these new planters that I got from Walmart. Uh, again, they're the Better Homes and Gardens 17-inch uh, uh, Round Chancellor is what they're called. So let's go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and plant this up together uh, so I can show you exactly how I'm going to rearrange them. And then I will go over and I will quickly just put the other one together. And then what we'll do is we're going to come back and we'll take a look at just how scrumptious and beautiful they look so let's go ahead and start on this one right over here and uh, get planting okay i hope you guys can see me i am really excited to see what this video is going to actually look like with this loom cube on uh you know on the top of the camera lighting everything up even though i've got the the cabana lights and everything out here a lot of times things come out looking so much darker so i'm really really hoping that you guys you guys are going to be able to see the detail and what i'm planting because let's face it that's the fun of watching these videos is you know looking at that color and everything so anyway um the plastic and everything is still on these planters so i'm going to need to go ahead and cut them off so i'm going to go ahead and start 
pulling all this off. Uh, that made me happy too that these planters were, um, you know, all kind of, you know, they put plastic on it for protection. Because a lot of times when I go into like, you know, some of the big box stores, they won't have any of the planters, you know, like, you know, protected with the plastic. And I like the tops of them will be like all pitted or something or scratched. And, and I don't like that. That doesn't, that makes the planter look really ugly. And who wants to have that, you know, a brand new planter that looks like that. So that made me very happy that, um, that they were, that Better Homes and Gardens does do that. So anyway, I got that off. Um, I'm going to forget to take that plug remember they had the pre-drilled hole which I thought was really really cool so we took that out so we've got our drainage hole in there and now aren't these gorgeous they are just so so pretty and I love that they are the lightweight that they are I'm going to set it right here probably what I'm going to end up doing y'all is I'm going to end up putting like some pot feed underneath here because what ends up happening whether I have it on the pool deck or whether I have it up here on the um on the cabana ants will always seem to find their way especially because again living here in south florida we have so so much moisture here that ants are usually a real problem you know especially in our you know when when it's really i mean they're a problem all year round but they seem to be even more of a problem during our spring and in summer months because of it being so wet here so anyway i'll probably end up putting these up on pot feet but for right now i'm just going to go ahead and put it you know just stationary like this so I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves on real quick so I can open this bag of dirt. I got a couple of fresh bags of soil and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. This is like my favorite time to work during the day. Uh, you know, during the, the afternoon hours, it's just so hot here and it's discouraging sometimes. And it's like, when I can come out here in the evening like this and just, you know, I'm in the comfort and privacy of my backyard and, you know, I've got the fans going and my family's all fed and they're in the house and now I'm doing what I absolutely love. And so, I, like I said, I hope you guys can actually see this really well with that, um, with that light and everything. So, okay, so let's get back to putting some dirt into this, these planters. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open here. And I was glad that these, these bags, sometimes you'll get them from the nurseries and depending on how long they've been sitting out, they'll, you know, collect a little bit of water or whatever. But this bag, even though it's really big, um, it, it doesn't feel like it got there, like there's no moisture in it or anything like that, which is good because the bag is a lot less heavy and I've been able to pick them up. So cause they are heavy. So, okay, I'm going to be dumping. You know what I'm going to do before I do this? Before I do this, let me go really, really quick. Um, a little trick that I like to do, and I'm just gonna share this with you guys. I could have just done this without sharing with you, but I wanna share this with you guys. That hole that I put in there, it is very big. And um, a lot of times what happens is when you dump soil right into like that, you know, a planter like this, and it's got that big old hole or that big old opening drainage hole in it, soil goes right through there and I don't want that to happen so what I do is I usually have like a little bit of core that I just kind of save like remnant little pieces so I'm going to go really quick and I'm going to grab a little piece of that core and I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to put it right over top of that hole it still will drain really really well but it'll keep the soil from falling all the way through so let me go and grab that core really really quick Okay, I hope you guys can see this. All I did was I just grabbed, it's just like, you know, remnant little pieces of like core that I just save when I'm lining baskets and stuff. And I just rip it off and just kind of, you know, throw it in a little basket or whatever. And then when I need it for stuff like this, I've got it. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put this down inside. I'm just gonna be putting it right over top of that hole. And that way, when I dump the soil in there, the soil, you know, some of the soil won't just start coming out and make a mess everywhere. So let me go ahead and pick this bag up again and dump this soil into this. Oh yeah, I love fresh dirt. I love the smell of it. I love that organic smell, yum. Okay, here we go. Fresh soil all in. I probably am going to need a little bit more, actually. I ran that over there now. I probably need to run back and... All right, I'm going to put my glasses on so that way I can see the detail, too. All right, we're going to start with 
the Kimberly Queen Fern. And now remember I told you guys, these Kimberly Queen Ferns, they do get, you know, to be, um, you know, good, you know, all of 24 inches tall or even a little bit taller actually. And um, they also, you know, they spread out, you know, you can see how nice and dense they actually, or it actually is. They spread out, you know, quite, you know, quite large and in charge. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just nestle this one about right into there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna lay this out before I actually do this to actually know exactly where I'm gonna be putting these. But I think I'll do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this Alter Nanthera, this Purple Night Alter Nanthera, and I'm gonna go ahead probably and nestle him around, I don't know, maybe right in here somewhere. Put one right in there. And then I'm gonna take this variegated plectranthus. And again, look at how beautifully it already trails over top, or not over top, over the sides of this planter. I just love these. Not only do they trail, but then they have these, you know, these other shoots that just kind of stick up and grow all in between. I, I'm loving these, y'all. I think that they are just absolutely wonderful. But I think it'll be really pretty over here it can marry with my crotons. You know how I feel about my crotons. But right in here, we'll just nestle that down. And then I think what we'll do is we'll take the gingerlin. Now the gingerlin, he is going to get um, about anywhere from 18 to 24 inches tall as well. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and probably end up putting him right in the middle here. And already, I hope you guys can see this, the, the splashes of red and the purple leaves of this, um, this uh, Altered Anthera, they're just, they're just going together so well. They look so, so nice. And then on top of that beautiful, beautiful variegated leaf of the uh, Plectranthus, I think it's gonna be a recipe for a really, really pretty, uh, pretty planter. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and use another one of the caladiums now this one i believe if i'm not mistaken and i'm not 100 percent sure y'all because this does not tell me what the actual name of the caladium is but based on um, experience with it it almost looks to me like a red flash is what it looks like to me and if that is the case the red flash is probably going to get to be um it's going to be a little bit of a shorter uh shorter growing it won't get as tall as what the ginger lin so I'm gonna go ahead and just nestle this guy, I think in the front here. And then I've got room for probably another one of the um, variegated uh, Plectranthus because I'd like for it to come over in the back here as well. So we've got one that spills over here on the, on the front and then one that spills over in the back. And then I'm gonna put another, I think, um, I think I'm gonna do two of these red flash. And I'm gonna put it right about in there. And again, I think, I think we'll be golden there. So we've got one Kimberly Queen Fern. We've got one um, Purple Night Alternate Thera. We've got one of the Gingerlin Caladium, and remember this guy is gonna get a little taller. He's gonna get to be close, close to the 24 inch mark, kind of like the, uh, the, the, the fern. So the two of them will probably be you know, kind of neck and neck. And then I've got two of the variegated Plectranthus to trail over the sides. And I went ahead and put two of the Red Flash uh, Caladiums. And now again, these are gonna be a little bit, um, you know, shorter they'll be more of the 18 or the 12 to 18 inches in in uh, in height so there you go i think there's a, that's a great recipe so i'm going to go ahead now and we'll take them all out and i'm going to quickly get them all planted up and then i'm going to go over to the other side and plant the other side much like i've done with this the only difference is i may use instead of using the red flash in um in the other side i think maybe what i might do is use these now again I'm not entirely sure what this one is actually called, um, but he's got a lot of really pretty, um, he's got a little bit of pink in him, 
um, like a mauvey color pink with red, deep red veins and um, a green, like green margins. So anyway, I think I'm gonna use two of these guys instead of the red flash and the other one. And that'll be the only, probably the only difference. So let's go ahead and get these guys all planted up. Okay, you guys, I've got them all planted up. I am bringing wet with this humidity that's out here. Oh my gosh, it is awful out here, but I am enjoying myself. I absolutely am loving this. This is my therapy, and uh, but I wanna turn the camera around and show you just how gorgeous these planters turned out. Here they are. This is planter number one, and I could not be happier. I think these are just going to be so gorgeous as they continue to grow and these colors just marry together and just fill in so nicely. Um, I do want to make one correction. This uh, particular caladium that I thought was the gingerlin, I believe it's the Miss Muffet. The gingerlin, um, you know, these cultivars are so close in, in you know, color sometimes um, and their, you know, all their margins and everything. I believe the gingerlin is a little bit darker. It's actually a lot darker all around the, uh, the roughly edges. I believe is the difference. It, the leaf, you know, the, the foliage color looks a lot like the gingerlin. But again, like I said, I think it's the, you know, the outside edges that actually are really, really super dark green. So I do apologize for that. I do believe this is the Miss Muffet series, but no matter how you look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Remember we have the Kimberly Queen Fern back here. We have the Purple Knight um, and Alternanthera over on the side here. We actually have two of the variegated Plectranthus, one here and then one back there. And then I used um, these uh, two caladiums. These actually have um, the pink, pink color in them with the red and the green. And there are two of them in there. And of course, then over on this side, we have basically the identical, um, the identical stuff, the fern, 
the alternate thera, the plectranthus, um, the Miss Muffet actually is what we have here. And then the only really big difference is um, still caladium, but this is the, um, the red flash that I have in here, uh, planted all up. But y'all, I am absolutely loving it. They turned out so fantastic, and I think they're gonna just really, really pop. As a matter of fact, I know they will. Um, I'm gonna walk out here just a little bit, and I'm gonna try to walk around the front side of our pool, and I'm going to kind of just flash it up to see what it looks like in the evening time. I'm gonna turn the camera around one more time to see what, um, what it actually looks like from here. But if you do this, and then I'm gonna to try to zoom in very quickly. Bear with me one second, because I'm just really kind of curious to see what they're going to look like. So I'm gonna zoom in here, and you can see them coming into focus and how they actually are on either side of the steps, uh, walking into the cabana. And I'm gonna go in and see if I can get it a little bit closer, but you can see just how pretty. And I really love that those containers are light in color. I'm going to walk down just a little bit further. Oh, there you go. Um, right in where my finger is. There it is, right there. It's going to focus on my finger, of course, but there, it's back in focus. Those light colored containers, um, I, I love them because everything that is in that uh, container, those light color containers, everything in there just stands out so beautifully with those, you know, with those up against, I should say, those uh, light, light containers. There's nothing to detract or take away from the colors and everything that I've got going on in there. So you guys, um, I'm going to flash in one more time. I'm just so thrilled to be able to get this done. I'm going to zoom out a little bit as I walk in a little bit closer here. But again, you can see how pretty the planter looks and it doesn't detract at all away from all of the beautiful things that I have going on in, um, you know, in that planter. So you guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around again. I really hope that you enjoy garden with me to, gardening with me tonight. I love it out here. I, I, it's about 9.30 at night and I, um, I don't wanna stop. I wanna keep going because once I get going, you know, I can do a bunch of little things while the family's just kind of relaxing in the house or whatever. Um, but anyway, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, gardening with me tonight, like I said. And um, if you are enjoying this content, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please cl uh, click on that subscribe button because I'd love to have you aboard. And we'll just plan on seeing you guys in the next video. Good night.